In this video, we're going to learn how to set up your organization to use SAML authentication for single sign-on to stream sets using a third-party IDP. Stream sets support SAML logins initiated from either a selected public identity provider or from a specified service provider. A user with the organization administrator role can optionally disable SP-initiated logins. StreamSets currently supports Okta and Ping Federate IDP providers. For logins using an IDP, users log in to the IDP login page or dashboard and then click an icon to log in to StreamSets. The IDP authenticates the user and then sends a SAML auth and response message to the StreamSets Assertion Consumer Service Endpoint or ACS. Now let's look at how to configure SAML authentication for your organization. We're going to use Okta. Full instructions are available in the StreamSets documentation. For this video, we will provide a high-level overview of the steps you need to complete. To begin, you will need to log in to your StreamSets account. Click the Manage menu on the sidebar and select My Organization. Click the Configure SAML button. On the new page that displays, select the Draft tab. Next, select the radio button for your configuration type. In this example, we are using Okta for our service provider. You will need to copy both the single sign-on URL and StreamSets entity URI links in the IDP SAML configuration section and save them for later. Also, you will need to download and save the SAML certificate to your computer. Now, log in to Okta and create an app integration. Select SAML 2.0 in the Create a New App Integration field and click Next. Give your new app a name, such as StreamSets, and click Next. In the Configure SAML section of Okta, enter the two links you copied from the StreamSets Configure SAML page. Now we are going to configure the Okta app integration to encrypt the SAML assertion. Click Show Advanced Settings. Set the assertion encryption property to encrypt it. Click Browse Files for the encryption certificate property and select the same SAML certificate that you downloaded earlier from Control Hub. Click Next and then click Finish to save your new Okta app integration. For the final step, click the Sign On tab in Okta. Right-click the Identity Provider Metadata link and save the metadata to a file. Click the Assignments tab and then assign the StreamSets app integration to all Okta users that need to log in to StreamSets. Consult the Okta documentation for detailed steps on completing this process if needed. Now, let's return to Control Hub. Return to the Draft tab of the Configure SAML page. In the Organization SAML Settings section, click Upload Metadata File from IDP and select the metadata file that you downloaded from Okta. In order to ensure that all of your organization's users use the IDP Initiated Login, disable the SP Initiated Login property. Click Save when you have completed your configuration. Now we'll publish our draft settings before switching our new login process into production. In the Draft tab of the Configure SAML page, click Publish and then click Confirm. This step publishes your settings to the production server. Click Enable and then click Confirm to make these changes go live for your organization. Now you know how to configure your organization to use IDP-initiated authentication. Next, you'll complete a lab activity and set up your own SAML configuration between StreamSets and Okta. Thanks for watching.